Microsoft is working on some new features for Excel, and they'd love to get your feedback on them. So in this video, I'm going to explain what these features are. And as you're watching the video, you can start leaving a comment down below and just let us know your thoughts and ideas uh, for these new features. So the features are all around data conversion. As you can see, I have the Excel options window open here. And under the advanced tab, there's this new section here called automatic data conversion. Now it's currently in beta on the insiders uh, fast beta channel. So only a limited number of people are going to have these options, but I will explain at the end of the video, how you can potentially get these features and test them out as well. So with these features, we really have a set of three new options or features here all around data conversion uh, for numbers. So let's just jump right in. I'll explain how these work. We're first going to start with this first feature called remove leading zeros and convert to number. Now this is the default behavior for Excel. So I'll explain how this works. I'm just going to cancel out of this for now. And on this sheet here, you can see I have some zip codes and these are zip codes for the state of New York that contain leading zeros, but you could, this really works for any numbers that potentially contain leading zeros. So as it stands right now in Excel, if we were to just enter this number here, 00501, and when we hit enter, you can see that that's converted to a number and the leading zeros there disappear. They're no longer part of the uh, value here. They're removed and it's converted to a number. So this new feature, if we go back to file under uh, Excel options here, advanced, and right down here under the copy and paste section, we can turn this new this feature off. So remove leading zeros, we can now turn that off and we'll hit okay. And now we'll jump back into Excel. I'm going to delete that. And again, we'll just uh, retype that in 00501 and hit enter. And you can see that that now stores the value as text and it keeps the leading zero. So the leading zeros don't disappear, which is really nice. Now you can see that the error uh, triangle comes up there and we still have the error menu that shows that this is a number stored as text. You can click this button to convert it to a number to remove those leading zeros, but you can also just keep it this way. So this is really nice. It'll save a lot of time and also potential errors with things like lookup formulas uh, when these numbers are accidentally automatically converted to a number and your leading zeros disappear. Now, if you don't have these features yet, there are ways to uh, potentially uh, create this same behavior in Excel. And so I'll show a few of those uh, since not everyone's going to have this feature yet. Uh, the first is just changing the number format to text. So in this column here, I'm just going to select some cells and then I'll go to the home tab here and on the format drop down, I'm going to change this to text. And now once I've changed that number format to text, if I enter the same number here and hit enter, you can see that that keeps the leading zeros and stores this as text. The trick there is that you have to uh, first change the format of the cells to text before entering the number. If you do it afterwards, it's not going to add the leading zeros back. Another trick is with the apostrophe. So if you start the value out with an apostrophe, I'm just going to type apostrophe, then 00501 here and hit enter. That's also going to store the number as text. And you can see that here. Of course, the apostrophe is not displayed in the cell, but it is displayed up here in the formula bar. So you see the apostrophe up here. The nice part about this new feature that allows you to essentially turn that behavior off is that you don't have to change the number format and the number format is not changed in the cell. So this is the cell again, where I did that entry of 00501. It kept it as text, but it did not change the number format here to text. You can see the number format of the cell is still general. So that way in this column, if we have both numbers that don't start with zero and numbers that start with zero, uh, we can enter all those and they don't all have to be stored as text. And again, leave a comment below with any thoughts you have on this new feature. I'm going to pass your feedback on directly to the Excel team at Microsoft. The next two features have to do with converting values to scientific notation. So the first one we'll look at is long numbers. When you have a number that's over 15 digits in Excel, it's automatically rounded and converted to scientific notation. So here I have some gift card or credit card numbers that are 16 digits long. And when I enter this value in the cell, just hit enter, you can see it's converted to scientific notation and it's actually rounded as well. So you can see there's a zero on the end here versus a six in the original value. And this also works when you have the letter E at the end of a value. So when you have E and then a up to three digits after the E in a value, uh, that will also convert to scientific notation. Excel kind of thinks you want to use the scientific format there and, and does that for you. So in order to prevent these, we can again use those new features. So we'll go to Excel options here, 
Keyboard shortcut for this is Alt F T A A. Uh, if you're interested in that, to get the the advanced tab here, and then we'll go ahead and uh, turn these two features off, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now, if we go back to this long numbers tab again, I'll just quickly uh, copy this here in this cell right here. I'll just paste it in, and you can see the number is stored as text. Same thing if we go over here to scientific notation. I'll just copy this number here. Now, in this case here, since we entered this as scientific notation, we need to change the number format back to general here. And then when we paste it in, that will be stored as text. Now, the same rules apply. If you don't have these features yet, you can use those same techniques I showed before. You can convert this uh, format to text, or you can use the apostrophe method here for either the long numbers or the scientific notation, and that will keep those stored as text. And I just made one side note here that the scientific format does take precedent here. So if you change the format to scientific first and then enter a value that has an E at the end, it will convert that to scientific notation. That's nice. That's the behavior you'd expect here. And it's great that you have both uh, features here to store as text and convert to scientific notation. And these features are also automatically applied when opening CSV files. So here I have a CSV file that contains some leading zeros and some scientific formats. When I open this file now, you can see that the uh, leading zeros or the values with leading zeros are stored as text along with the scientific formats here. So it's just taking on the settings that I have applied in Excel options. And you do have some control over this. So if I'll, I'll go ahead and close this CSV file back down and we'll jump back into Excel options real quick and go to the advanced tab. And as you can see, I currently have all of those settings turned off. So when I open the CSV file, uh, Excel just applied those and did not do the conversions. However, if you have these on, and when you first get this feature, you'll have them on by default, there's this additional option here to warn you when you open a CSV file. Now you can turn this off, but if you leave it on, let's do that, and we'll take a look at what happens when we open the CSV file now. And as you can see, we get this warning message now. And default, and Excel by default is just saying that it will perform uh, these conversions, and it actually lists out the conversions here for leading zeros and scientific format that it found. If you click the convert button, it'll convert those to numbers, and you can kind of see a preview of that here. So again, that's the default behavior. But if you click don't convert, it won't convert those to numbers and instead store them as text. And you can see that here as well. So this is really nice because you have a lot of options and control over what happens when you open CSV files. And I'll wrap it up by talking about availability and some current limitations. So these features are currently available on the beta channel for Excel for Windows, and they're being flighted out. So if you don't have the features yet and you are on the beta channel, you'll be getting them in the coming weeks, and then Microsoft will roll it out to the other channels and platforms in the future. So you will need to be on the Office Insiders program, which is free to join. And I have a link here where you can find out more about that. Now, if you do have these features, Microsoft would love for you to get feedback through their feedback portal. And you can do that by going to the Help tab in Excel and then clicking the Feedback button. And then right over here, there's three buttons. So you can choose what feedback you want to give and just click one of these buttons and you'll be able to type in your feedback. They'd also love for you to use this hashtag, which is Automatic Data Conversions. And I'll put this in the file here. And again, I'll make this available for free download. So you can just copy and paste the hashtag into your feedback paragraph there. And that will just help them flag uh, your feedback for these specific features. Now, in terms of current limitations, I think there are just a few here. Uh, one is that this is an application level setting, not a workbook level setting. So even though I've turned these uh, features off in my application or my computer, if I send this file to someone else, they will not have the features automatically turned off. They will need to go into Excel options and turn those off as well. So there's pros and cons to that. I won't get into those here, but you can leave a comment below with your thoughts on that. And I'd be happy to discuss that in the comments below. Uh, another limitation is that the settings are somewhat buried there in the Excel Options Advanced menu. So if you find yourself turning these on and off frequently, uh, that could take extra time to do. However, I don't feel like I will be turning these on and off frequently. I think how I will use this is I will turn them off by default and just leave them off and kind of see how it goes. I don't work with a lot of scientific notation or numbers that need to be scientific notation. And I would love to keep any numbers with leading zeros and store them as text. So I think I will benefit from just having these features off. And another nice feature there is that you can still use the error menu to convert the text back to numbers if needed. So you can just hit the error menu here 
and then choose convert to number and that'll convert it back to its default conversion setting. So I hope this helps. Again, leave feedback or a comment below and let us know what you think. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.